y'all, it's Joy again, and I'm here with two reviews, uh, well, two different product reviews. I have got um, some more lip paints from MBA Cosmetics, that's my beauty addiction, uh, So, and they're an Etsy shop, and then I've got some more um, eyeshadows and uh, sculpting powder from Blackbird Cosmetics. And I have talked about both of these brands before, and I know you're probably like, what is up with your lips? Well, Halloween is coming up, so sometimes you want to go a little bit out there. And um, to be uh, very, very honest and truthful, when I saw this on the website, I didn't, website, I didn't uh, realize that it was this very black. <laughs> I actually thought it was more plum, but that's okay because I can use this to darken up shades that are too light and too nude for me, and um, I can really work on them. Actually, this is actually the second time I have tried to record this video. Strangely enough, the first time I did, um, this, I, I was just after I came back from work and I had barely any makeup left on my face, and I tried on these lipsticks and talk about your pale princess. Oh my goodness, I could have looked like I had just risen out of a Dracula film. But I want to make this short and sweet, so I'm going to get right to the point. The color you see on my face, on my lips, is uh, Voodoo. And that's one of the reasons I almost didn't buy it, because I don't really care for that name. Uh, some people love those kind of things, I just don't. So this is the lipstick case, it's the fancier case, um, and this is uh, the color Voodoo. Um, this is what it looks like, a really dark lipstick, but you see how it kind of has a purple tint? It almost matches my nails, and if you see my nails all chippy, I apologize. Um, I'm just really hard on nails. And this is the color. It's kind of got a chocolatey, kind of purple, blackened purple, if you will. A very, very dark color. And I'm not going to lie, these colors require a little bit of maintenance. I totally recommend that if you're going to try to rock this, you use a, um, a lip liner and even e.l.f. or another brand that has the lip lock kind of concept behind their lip, lip pencils. Urban Decay has one as well. Um, try one of those because otherwise this may move on you if you're being all kissy face with somebody or if you're trying to eat or drink something. I haven't found it going outside my lip lines. Um, I just did notice that to make it opaque it does take a couple coats. And yes, this is very different, but that's okay. I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites. This is, just comes in a, their standard tube, and uh, this one is called Another Brick in the Wall, and this is the color um, in the tube, and it's the color I have on my lips. I really do enjoy this color. Um, this is the swatch of the color. Let me put it back in there without destroying it. Um, it's just a nice darkened orange red, uh, not too orange, not too red, and it's very wearable for every day. And so if you hang on just a moment after I swatch everything, I'll tell you how much they are and stuff. But this is one of my um, dear favorites. I'm sure I'm going to get tons of use out of it, and it's very, very fall appropriate. So I don't know what that look was. Anyway, it's very, very fall appropriate and oh, favorite. Yay! I just realized that my earring has been caught behind my ear this whole time I've been filming. And that's just weird that I don't notice those things until I see myself. Anyway, <laughs> it was really funny when I saw my earring all hanging all funny. Uh, this is just one that I got in a sample. I didn't get a full tube of this because I just wanted a few uses out of it for Halloween. This is called Gunmetal. It comes in a little clamshell that looks like this. And this is a swatch. It has a metal, metallic, well, metal, metallic sheen to it, and um, I kind of like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it comes off. It is a little patchy. It is a, whoa, it just got all over me. It's a little, um, it should dry down to almost a matte, according to their website. I know that my favorite one uh, does and doesn't move as much as when I first apply it. Um, but this one um, is a little bit harder to build up to color. Um, but I do love it when it is on. In fact, I think that this might be my choice for Halloween. So, we'll see. Okay, guys, I know, I know, it's blue. This is Breathless. And again, I just got a clamshell because I really didn't know if I wanted gunmetal or Breathless. I couldn't refuse gunmetal because that was so cool. Um, Breathless looks a little vinyl, like a, like a vinyl blue, if you would, um, and the swatch. And again, this should, um, the... Uh, 
slipperiness should um, disappear after a bit. Um, I just haven't worn it long enough to see. Um, but I know from my other ones in the natural colors that that's indeed what happens as the slipperiness goes away. Um, I absolutely love this color and it is in close running to wear for my Halloween costume because um, I think I'm going to be uh, something blue. Well, yeah. Uh, you'll get to see pictures, I promise. I'll let you know. Uh, so anyway, this is, uh, I have one more clamshell to show you, and then I get to show you my favorite, favorite one um, that is the whole reason why I ordered, this is a lip brush, by the way, the whole reason why I ordered from uh, MBA again is because I thought I lost my favorite one, and so I found it, and I didn't, but um, I guess it kind of did give me an excuse to order again, didn't it? So anyway, uh, this is Breathless, and uh, I have to say I'm a fan. I don't think I can wear this on the daily, and um, I don't know that I'd want to, but it definitely is a pretty, pretty color and pretty cool. Okay, this is Truth or Dare, and the clamshell looks like this. Because um, I have a really hard time finding reds for me, so I really wanted to make sure that this red was going to work. And I have to say I kind of like it. It's a blue-based uh, red. This is the swatch. So it should make my teeth look prettier. Oh, well, whiter. I don't know if it actually does that. But I do like the color. I definitely wouldn't wear this every day, but out on a special occasion with a black dress, yeah, baby, that would be great. So um, I like this red. Very vibrant, uh, very pretty, and it's definitely a lot drier of a formula than um, than the other two in the clamshell. So uh, and then breathless, breathless or gunmetal. Um, this one was a lot more easy to apply. Even with my finger, I just did the extra, well, I did the lines with the liner and then filled it in with my finger, and that went very easily and so much easier than the other one. So, a slightly different formation, uh, formulation, I think. So, yes, do like this, truth or dare. And we'll be back with my last one. This last one is Rebel, and last time I'd gotten it in a mini tube, this time I got it in a full-fledged lip paint tube. Uh, this one uh, looks like this in the tube, and this is the swatch. It is a, uh, what I would call a mid-tone uh, mauve, uh, mauve nude color, and I absolutely love this. I wear it almost daily. Um, sorry, I almost got stuff on my pants. <laughs> Lipstick. So anyway, I wear this almost daily and I love it. Um, now the prices of these, I, I got the three clamshells, Gunmetal, Breathless, and Truth or Dare for uh, $4. That is a steal. And so these have a good amount in them. I mean, I've already tried them on twice and barely made a dent in them so I can get a lot of uses out of these. And I'm definitely looking for it. I just smashed it all over my nail. Hmm. Oops. Uh, you can definitely get a lot of uses. Shipping is um, about uh, $4.25 in the U.S., depending on how far she has to ship. Uh, so I think she has the standard shipping. Again, it's an Etsy shop called MBA Cosmetics. Stands for My Beauty Addiction on Etsy. And she has so many lip colors. I'd say more than 60 easily. Some very unnatural, some very natural. A whole mixture of things similar to the NYX Wicked Lippies but also um, a lot more choices than the NYX Wicked Lippies. Um, so if you don't know what color you want, I suggest getting a whole bunch of samples and uh, trying them out, wearing them around, seeing what you prefer, because there are a ton of choices. It took me two buys to figure out some things that I wanted to try out, and I'm still trying to figure out more to order from her because I just love the formulation and I love the price. So um, three samples, $4, and then three lipsticks, $20. The other company I have to tell you about is Blackbird Cosmetics, and Blackbird Cosmetics has its own website, and I'll link it down for you below. Uh, very reasonable prices. She has a limited um, eyeshadow uh, selection um, because she makes this all herself, and it's definitely an indie company, which are some of my favorite uh, things to order from and try out. Now, I tried a Sculpting's powder before, but I found it to be too dark for me. I just bought it in a sample, um, so I wanted. I was pretty. Sure of what I wanted to get and so I got one called Lesson and uh, this is the uh, packaging kind of a skull on the front of it because you're sculpting out your skull I guess it's called Lesson I don't know if you'll be able to see that probably not eh, stupid thing won't 
won't uh, focus for me. Um, but this is the powder color. Let me back up a little bit. It's definitely on the cooler side, which is what I prefer. I don't like orange uh, streaks on my cheeks or under my cheeks, as you may tell. And let me show you that next to the other sample I have. Okay. So this is Lesson, and this one, the more grayish one, is called Subtract. And I am wearing it in my, um, what do they call that? I don't even know what you call that, under your cheekbones, uh, where you contour, my contour area, I guess, today. And um, I'm wearing it on my jawline to hopefully decrease the uh, little neck issue that I can't stand. Um, I really like this. It doesn't take much. It blends well. Um, I love the price. The price for the sculpting powder, the full one, is $12. And it comes in, um, doesn't say, 6 grams. So... It's absolutely, it's absolutely lovely because it is vegan and cruelty-free, um, which most indie brands are. So, well, they're at least cruelty-free, not always vegan. But this is one of my favorite sculpting powders so far. Love it. Now, I remember telling you about this last time, and I didn't order this one this time. It's the Magic Trick Powder, and uh, in, this is in violet. Um, I love this one because it actually um, balances my skin tone and it also acts as an oil control powder. Sometimes I use it under my makeup, sometimes I use it over, sometimes I use both, but I absolutely love that powder. This time I didn't have bring it in here with me, but I ordered the green one and I ordered that um, because uh, I sometimes have, um, my husband sometimes gets red, especially when he's performing um, and playing his guitar because the hot lights get on him and and it's understandable that happens, but no one likes to appear red. So he um, applies that just a little bit, and that will lessen the redness. Um, so there, that green powder really does work. Uh, mixes with your natural oils and looks beautiful. Now I got two eyeshadows. I am actually wearing them today. The first one, uh, you can see all over my lid, and it is half full. This is a very yellow kind of uh, color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Let me get you a sample of it because I need to get more out. It's a yellow cream color. It's a matte, um, and I just love this color. Uh, it's even better than the Diminish, which had a little bit of a gray tone to it. So my ring's always off. Um, but I love this color very, very much. The next one I have is called Atlas, and I need to find it comes in this uh, same little packaging as her other ones and it is a deep brown color it looks kind of medium brown on the um, display there but it is a uh, deepened brown um, it it really is a beautiful beautiful color and I did not give a very nice swatch did I if you get them wet of course they apply even better this is again a matte um, love it. I also used a little bit of the other shadow that I already had of hers to blend this out to make it not look uh, like I was just wearing two colors on my lid to help blend it. You know how you need that transition shade from your um, crease into your brow bone? So I used the third one, which is down here, and you can barely see it. Oh, right there. It's called Dog Days, and uh, it's kind of a pinkish brown color. Really great for transitioning out uh, that crease and blending things out. Love it as well. And again, wearing them on my lids. These are the only eyeshadows I'm wearing today. Nothing else in them. And I think I told you this, but I'm not quite sure, that the Blackbird eyeshadows are $6.50 a piece. They do come in the loose powder formula, which I have. They also come in pressed pans. Um, I believe those are $8. I just chose not to get those um, because I didn't want to buy another Z palette. And truthfully, I really do like them in the loose powder form. Uh, and the Magic Trick and Sculpting powders are $12 a piece. Now, um, you will notice that the Magic Trick powder comes a lot more um, in it than the Sculpting powder but to be truthful I'm gonna use a lot less of this than I am of this because this is more of a loose setting powder this is just for contouring um, and then MBA cosmetics absolutely love them as well I will leave all MBAs and uh, Blackbird cosmetics information below I, I hope you try these brands they are phenomenal and um, I love these kind of indie companies starting up giving them my support um, especially when they have good products of course 
Um, so I hope that helps. If you um, actually go and try any of these, let me know. Um, I, if you have, if you order any of the MBA lipsticks, let me know. I'd love to know what you got, um, <clears throat> especially if you have pictures because, uh, well, you're going to not help my shopping addiction, but that's okay. Okay, well, I hope all is well with you. God bless. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me uh, if there's anything you'd like to see that I haven't shown you yet, and um, I would uh, like to hear from you. So God bless, and take care. Bye-bye.